Well, these people have me very busy. They are going on to these media outlets sounding insane. And I want to deal with some of the things that they've been saying. And let me point something else out. This mutt, this hideous, deranged monster is heavily drugged right now. And that is why it's not trying to rip people's faces off. Tackles are up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're feeling that way maybe because of the news mm. and um, things that some people who have never had any experience with the actual breed. Don't need to have experience. Don't need to spend five, 10 minutes with them. That's not going to inform me about how they function as a breed. Statistics inform us of that. Um, they have a lot to say. I understand that obviously the attacks are serious and it makes sense for people to feel worried. But I think we really need to think about where is the problem actually coming from because there's way too many XL bullies for it. The problem is coming from the dog itself. The dog itself is the source of the problem. The disproportionate statistics prove that. Us to say they're the most dangerous breed in the world, that we would be having attacks every day if that well, was there have the been case. Nine there are attacks every day. That is utter stupidity. There are attacks every day in the UK. There are attacks every day in the United States and everywhere else in the world. That was a very dumb statement for her to make. That's in the UK in the yeah. last two years. That sounds like an awful it lot, is a lot to me. Then she goes on and tries to minimize those attacks, those deaths. It is a lot. one breed of dog. I think it's because of the fashion of the dog. It's What's that, that everybody wants an XL bully. Everyone and their mom, friends, cousin, sister, everyone has an XL bully. Everybody wants them. Everybody has them and wants them. Then why do 80% of people in the UK believe they should be banned? I don't believe that. I don't believe the majority of the population wants one of these things. And even if they did, what difference does it make? Is that supposed to excuse all of these attacks? You see how she talks as if we are supposed to accept some percentage of attacks, maimings, and fatalities? That is insane. And everyone's almost breathing like that. hideous, crazy, deranged monster is heavily drugged up. Now, what you're looking at right now this thing is terrified because dogs are so mutated and deranged, they're afraid of everything. They view any and everything as a potential threat or a challenge. And that does not justify them attacking everything. It is just the source of their aggression. You heard how the devil is truly weak. The same thing, and they have the right name, bullies. Bullies are generally punks. And if you stand up to them, they will back down. Well, dogs are so cowardly, that's why they're always aggressive towards any and everything living. It's just an expression of how deranged they are as mutants. Next up, bully, that's the quick get rich scheme right now when it comes to the dog game. How much are they worth? During COVID times, you would get a dog like this for like 3K. Now it's getting tired. Understand, it's in a new environment. There's lights everywhere on the floor. There's new people just sitting around and they're facing in the dog's direction. So the dog is thinking that they might want or try to attack it because that's what dogs themselves do. They assume that every other living thing is just like themselves, have an urge to attack for absolutely no reason. So it has all the reason to have increased anxiety right now. It doesn't because it's drugged up. The only way it could possibly sit there and fall asleep, lay down like that and be this relaxed is if it's drugged up. 4K, like now times, you know, it's a bit difficult, so it's reduced. Okay, skip past. I don't care how much they cost. Stan, um, the numbers on um, dog attacks are very shocking, actually. The Wait a minute. 
Because I want to deal only with the things that this defender says. Right? I want to give my take or response to the things that she said. So I'm going to skip past the things that he said. I agree with a lot of the things that he said, but I disagree with some. To give her point of view here, and how hard, do you accept any of what Stan is saying there, that actually you can be as good a, an owner as you want to be, but this particular dog has it bred into them to be overreactive and to go for the throat. I mean, that's what they do. And that, they, there's a lot more to it than that. They have a lot more traits and characteristics and instincts as far as killing and attacking than that, OK, as we all know. I mean, that's what they do. And it's, it, 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 you can be as good as you want as a trainer, and I'm sure you are. Now, as I pointed out before, look at her body language. Look at how she's behaving, simply listening to what this lady is saying. That is because she knows that what this lady is saying is true. But it is her job to run the con. She is a con artist, just like all other pit bull advocates. And the truth is making her uncomfortable. You go for the throat. I mean, that's what they do. And it's, it, 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 you can be as good as you want as a trainer, and I'm sure you are. Yeah. Clearly you are. Your dog is docile. <laughs> yeah. At the yeah, docile because it's drugged up. And then she sits here and laughs. And do you know, listen to this. The thing is... This behavior is, it's breed standard. These breeds are not, if I brought my Doberman here, higher energy, maybe a bit more like, yeah, these dogs don't wanna jump about the place. You go online and you see people who own these dogs, they will tell you that the dog is calm. I think a person that doesn't- That was a bold faced lie and it was very disingenuous, very dishonest. She just sat there and said all of that about a drugged up bully breed. These things are not any more calm than any other breed of dog. But let me point out that what is true about she, what she said, it is a part of the bully breed's behavior to stay perfectly still and to attack without showing warning signs. So in a way, what she said is true. What is standard is that they show no signs of attacking before attack. They'll go from being perfectly still and silent to launching a full out attack. However, notice how when it was convenient for her to say that a behavior is standard with the breed, she does so. But when you talk about violence, oh, you can't just look at bully breeds. You can't just say it's the pit bull. Suddenly, all of a sudden, they are no longer individuals, right? They say dogs are individuals. You can't judge them based on breed. Yet she sits here and tries to say that the calmness that you see in this dog is breed standard. Hypocrites. Amen. The thing Pull is, on. this behavior is it's breed standard. These breeds are not, if I brought my Doberman here, higher energy, and what is, maybe a bit more. What does your argument that these are calmer than Dobermans have to do with anything? We're dealing with statistics. This whole discussion is about statistics, about these things producing very disproportionate statistics, being a small percentage of the total dog population, yet accounting for the vast majority of attacks. So what does them being more calm when they're not attacking anyone have to do with anything? That was just a very strange thing that she pointed out. And I have no idea why she pointed that out. Is, are the statistics suddenly erased simply because Dobermans are more hyper when they're, when they're not attacking than bully breeds? This behavior is, it's breed standard. These breeds are not, if I brought my Doberman here, higher energy, maybe a bit more like, yeah, these dogs don't want to jump about the place. You go online and you- Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay, so they're calm. Okay, so they're tearing, they're breaking records for deaths, for maimings, 
disfigurements and attacks in general. They're breaking records right now. And we should just allow it to continue because they're calm when they're not attacking people. Make a lot of sense, right? You see people who own these dogs, they will tell you that the dog is calm. I think a person that doesn't assess the dogs, doesn't train the dogs, you don't really have any close relationship apart from the statistics like you right now. He's the same as you to me. See how she minimized the statistics? But she has not refuted the statistics. Instead, she tries to combat the statistics with stories of her personal experience with them. Now, I'm sure she has been bitten before. She has not revealed that information. So all she has is a dodo video type of narrative. Oh, I've never been attacked by them. Okay, so explain the statistics. Uh, well, I, I've been around eight or nine of them and they didn't attack me. Okay, now explain why they are overrepresented in the attack statistics. They never actually answer. Don't really have any close relationship apart from the statistics. And we don't need to. We don't need to spend a few minutes with these hideous drugged up monsters. What is wrong with these people? It's like you right now. He's the same as you to no, me. No, no, because... Stan actually, Stan, just be clear. Stan does physically get, interact with dogs. No, no, he, yeah, he, that's, no that's fine. But I think he's, he's been very clear that he doesn't assess XL bullies. But he doesn't is, work Kay. with XL bullies. But the thing but is, Kay, he doesn't assess or work with them. He doesn't have to. None of us have to. The only thing we have to do is have an understanding of how often they attack and the condition of the people after they're attacked. That's the only thing we need to have an understanding of. Why don't you understand that? Because you're a con artist. Um, let, let, let's uh, come back. Uh -huh. Okay, this, this woman. Now, this XL bully over there, according to the stats, 270 times more likely to kill you. If we're talking about aggression, then we're talking about how they uh, attack when they decide to attack. So this talking point that bully breeds are not any more likely to bite than other dogs is not an argument at all because that's, that's not the point. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the damage caused when they attack. If they all are just as likely to attack, fine. Now tell me which ones are going to leave a tiny puncture wound and which one's going to literally bite my arm off. That's what I'd really like to know. Dog is not a nice dog. Wait a minute. And he points out a few of the uh, statistics for her. Guns. If the facts say XL bullies are the dogs which are killing people, uh -huh. isn't the responsible thing for society to do to say own other dogs don't own the killer dog. Um, I think, with similar to the example you just gave there, like nitrous oxide right now, they're about to ban that, right? Because it's now becoming an illegal substance because people are misusing the substance. It's not, it wasn't created for the misuse that it's being used for. It's created for baking, for the right things. If people misuse it, now the government has to think of how can we make it safer for people? How can we legislate this or manage this better so people are not misusing it? See this thing falling asleep? heavy, heavily drugged up. How pathetic is that? And she yeah. came up here and said that this calmness is breed standard. This or manage this better so people are not misusing mm. this. So same thing goes. This dog is not bred or made to be an ultra aggressive dog. That statement right there completely destroyed her case. You seriously reveal your ignorance saying something like that. This thing is said to have been bred out of the pit bull terrier. The pit bull was bred for a long time for bullfighting to attack and kill bulls and other large animals. 
That's exactly what they were bred for. And the Bully XL is a larger version of that. They're just very large pit bulls. So what are you talking about? That's exactly what they were bred for. Nobody's misusing them. And your assumption that all bully breeds that attack people were raised by someone who taught them or trained them to attack is also ridiculous and it's impossible for you to have found that out. So like I said, the arguments going around by these people are pathetic, as pathetic as it gets. And I believe they're going to actually implement this ban. These arguments are that bad. High rise of people oh, buying three, this three particular breed. She said that there's a high rise of people purchasing this breed. However, they still don't make up the majority in the UK or here in the United States. They still produce disproportionate statistics. So she makes another failed argument here. I Number one, one, because of the fact exactly that multiple people for. are breeding them for a get rich. So people don't walk around our streets with guns because yeah. they're dangerous. So she points out that a bunch of people are breeding them. There's a huge influx of bully XLs, right? Bully XLs, the population of them is growing faster than the population of other breeds. And she's, she's saying that that is the reason why they produce the statistics that they produce. How on, what type of argument is that? Oh, it's no problem. It's only because their population is growing faster than the other breeds. Oh, okay. So this woman is all over the place. Yes, and we think we should ban them because people die from them, even if people um, are well trained in handling mm -hmm. things properly. I'm not sure if we so, ban handguns, why don't we ban killer dogs? Okay, so what is a killer dog, though? Well, any, it turns dog, can, out any dog can be a killer dog. People, anybody who tries to deny this dog, this dog is heavily sedated. Heavily sedated. Normally, they would be going crazy right now, and it falls asleep. That is pathetic. What is a killer dog, though? Well, any turns dog can, out, any dog can be on the basis of the recent evidence, XL bullies. Yeah, any dog can be. But you're still not dealing with the discussion. You are asked to explain why they produce such disproportionate statistics. They say these things for, account for like 65, 70% of people uh, killed, maimed. Yet they make up a small percentage of the total dog population. She still doesn't get around to that. So, but are you telling me that just a German Shepherd that has way more higher strength that the police yeah. use is not I'm just able to? Seventy-five percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she helps our argument by making some of these statements that she makes. Yes, what you're saying is true. We should ban all large dogs, but you're still not dealing with the question. One of the deaths were so, XL bullies, and there'd be a lot more deaths. So. What you're saying is 75% is based on the high rise of people buying this dog. You have a cockapoo, mm. and cockapoos have cocker rates. Yeah, I mentioned that, that earlier that in is, the show. That is a constant thing that they do have. Oh, yeah. it is it resource guarding? Uh, they bite the most. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. a cockapoo can kill a child, though. Yeah. It, she said they bite the most. We don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know if any other of those small breeds bite more often than bully breeds because most of those attacks are minor. So minor, people are not going to the hospital to report it. How are all of you pit bull advocates finding this out? How are you gonna have to talk to a lot of people? How are you ever even going to prove that? People, that's another outright lie, saying that these other breeds bite more often. Because they're, let me say, we don't know if it's true or not. We have no way of finding it. What we do know, what we do have record of, is the people who go to the hospital. And she doesn't deal with that at all. Yeah. Uh, it's all about deflection. 
It's all about straw man arguments, arguing against something that nobody said, just being delusional. That's the whole goal with these people. So you can trade a I've, chihuahua. Yeah. These are so they any do. dog can be a killer dog with the wrong person. Except that. She said any dog can be a killer dog with the wrong person. Again, all dogs that can kill should be banned. But we're talking about the XL bully that produces crazy statistics. And this is only one type of bully breed. So she's saying that it should be acceptable. The overrepresentation in the statistics on part of the bully XL should be acceptable because other dogs bite too. That's their argument, people. That's you make an interesting yeah. point. Um, and we yeah, asked you on uh, Twitter uh, uh, if, is it still called Twitter? Yeah. Is the, it called X? X, yeah. Well, let's not call it Twitter. Whatever it is. We asked you if you thought XL bullies should be banned. 80% of you said yes, they should be banned. 20% uh, said no. Can we just. Okay. So if everybody wants an XL bully, why are we getting statistics? or polls like this. Where are all the fans of the XL bully? I guess they're just not computer literate. But this woman gets up here and makes really bully breeds look bad, bully breed advocates look bad, and the XL bully. There are a lot of failed attempts by these pit bull advocates floating around. The fact is, pets shouldn't be able to kill, to disfigure. And when you're talking about bully breeds, all bully breeds produce ridiculously disproportionate statistics, and they all need to be banned. But in the UK, particularly, that bully XL is like the pit bull of the pit bulls. It produces statistics in the same way that all bully breeds produce compared to non-bully breeds. And there's no defend there's no way to defend that. It's just as ridiculous to try to defend the bully XL as it is to try to defend bully breeds in general. And this discussion about the Bully XL is really about bully breeds. Because if they replace the Bully XL with the other legalized bully breeds that you can get in the UK, the problem will still be there. You won't see a true or significant change in the statistics until you ban all fighting breeds. There's no excuse for people to own fighting breeds as pets.